Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. In this video, I am going to give you the programming solutions of week 4 for the joy of computing using Python course. So let's see the first question, uh, first programming question. Write a program that takes a number n as an input and prints the sum of squares of first n positive integers. So first I am going to show you the code for the first question. So friends, this is the code. Uh, I will zoom this for you. So this is the code. Please note this down here itself. And be careful uh, about the indentation. Because indentation is very important in Python. Uh, in other languages we have uh, braces. But here we have indentation. So carefully follow the indentation. So that then only you can get the output otherwise it will not give the output so this is the code you can note this down note this down here itself because it, notepad is clear to understand when I go to the compiler you may not get uh, the clear view like this so hope you have noted down so I am zooming back So I am going to copy this code and paste on the compiler interface. So I will show you again there. So I am pasting it here. I will once again zoom this. So this is this is the code. So note this. Uh, pass the video here itself and take a screenshot or you can note it down. So I am zooming back and let's see whether it compiles or not. Clicking on compile and run button. So if you see here, public test cases 4 by 4 passed and the status is also showing it is passed. You can see here the status for every test case is passed. So 4x4 four four test cases pass. So our solution is correct regarding public test cases and let's check for private test cases by clicking on submit button. So if you see here private test cases there are 4 private test cases and 4 are showing passed. For every test case it is passed. So our solution is 100% correct. So let's move on to the second programming question of week 4. So second programming assignment. Write a program that takes a number n as input and prints the nth power of 2. That means 2 power n we have to print. So here n equal to 4 so we print 2 power 4 that is output is 16. So I will show you a code. It is just two lines. This is first question code and here, here is the second question. So these two lines is the code. There is no indentation here. I will zoom this. So this is the code. Pass the video here itself and note this. So I am zooming back. So I am pasting it in the compiler interface. Once again I will zoom this here also. So this is the code. This is the code. Note it down carefully. So hope you have noted it. So I am zooming back again. So let's see the compilation. So here we have four public test cases and four four by four passed. So you can see here the status for every test case it is passed. Every test case is every public test case is passed. Let's check for private test cases. So click on submit button. So 
if you see here every private test case is passed there are four private test cases and four are passed so our solution is 100% correct so let's move on to the final question that is third one so in the third programming assignment write a program that takes number n as input and prints a pyramid of numbers with n rows so if you give n is equal to 5 it should print like this this is an example so i will show you the code this is second one so this is the third question code so i am going to copy this so note note it down here itself guys care be careful in terms of indentation it is very important the x and y should be in the within the block of for loop and this for loop is also in the line of indentation of for loop only and if is if and else are also in the same line so i am marking the lines here so that you can understand clearly so friends hope you have noted this code here so now i am going to copy this you can pass the video here itself and take a screenshot so now i am going to paste it on the compiler interface so this is the code so now i am going to click on compile and run to test it public test cases so if you see this public test case 4 by 4 pass the status is also showing so let's see the submit button to check for private test case are also passed or not so if you see this the private test cases four test cases are passed guys once again i will show you the third question code because it is somewhat a bigger than other codes so this is the code once again oh, please watch it carefully and follow the indentation rules take a screenshot clearly or if you are noting it down please pass the video here itself and note it carefully so these are the solutions for week 3 programming assignment of joy of computing using python course hope this video is helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share to your friends so for further more videos and also for quiz uh, videos you can refer our channel i have already uploaded the quiz assignment answers so for further videos and also the co courses for other nptl courses videos uh, please keep supporting our channel until then thank you bye